Welcome back. Please turn up the volume for this. Homeless youth are particularly vulnerable during the coronavirus pandemic, and the shelters are still open, like the nonprofit Cummins House, now face additional challenges as they continue to provide services to children and young adults who are facing homelessness. Joining me now, Kevin Ryan, the president and CEO of the organization. Help us understand how coronavirus is impacting your work. Well, it's a very dangerous time for young people. In general, the young people who come to Covenant House across all 31 cities have been disconnected from families, from civic organizations, and have been medically neglected. So they're already at great risk. And now they're coming in the midst of this pandemic. And many of the young people who come to Covenant House have experienced enormous trauma in their lives, abuse and neglect, and this great unknowing that besets all of us is really wearying for their psyches. So kids are both physically and emotionally and mentally at great risk right now. We across Covenant House have repurposed storage rooms, offices, drop-in centers to isolation units so that we can safely care for symptomatic and sick kids as they come in the front door. And that's true now in about half of the Covenant House sites across the country where young people who are sick or symptomatic are staying with us. Kevin, the only way you can do that is with financial backing, and you're very dependent on volunteers. Given all the stay-at-home orders around the country, you're definitely losing volunteers. And given what's happened to the economy, you're going to lose some charitable giving. What kind of situation are you in right now? Well, for sure, the worries at Covenant House about finances are shared across the nonprofit sector. We rely on the generosity of tens of thousands of families across the country, and many of those families now are experiencing unemployment. So the need for families who support us is in many instances as great as it is for many of the young people who turn to us desperate for help. We have an extraordinary group of heroes who every day are walking into Covenant Houses from Anchorage to Fort Lauderdale, Los Angeles to Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. and New York, and many, many cities in between and are being love in the world for young people who are so scared and are so vulnerable. Housekeepers, maintenance staff, social workers, folks who are leaving their own families to be love in the world for kids. We at Covenant House are doing our best to make sure that we have two weeks of supplies, food, disinfectant, medical supplies, gloves, masks, and are low across the board at many of our Covenant Houses. The truth is that as schools and colleges closed, Young people who were living at Covenant House, but maybe having lunch or breakfast at high school or having it at their college or university are now having all the meals at Covenant House. So we have had a 40% uptick in the number of meals served. Last week, we served 45,000 meals across 31 cities to children and youth who are facing homelessness. And as I said, Kevin? all of the Covenant Houses now have special. Yeah. Before we go, we're out of time, but the president is doing a call in five minutes with nonprofit leaders from around the country. What do you want him to know? I mean, we have a desperate need for resources. That's the reality. We have millions of dollars that we're going to lose this spring because of events and galas that have been closed. We need people to reach out. At Covenant House, it's covenanthouse.org. We need people to help us right now. Kids need us more than ever before. This is when it counts. It sure is. And in a time of emergencies, we got to come together. Kevin, thank you so much for all the work that you do every day. We're going to be back with more. My colleague Yasmin Vasugian is going to pick up coverage right on the other side of the break.